Our guest for today's conversation segment are development architect, public affairs practitioner, good governance advocate, and youth development enthusiast, a communication specialist, and a regulatory sector development advocate with an uncanny appetite for promoting innovation and excellence. Olare Wanju Osho, it's good to have you on the show. Thank you very much, Reward. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to be here today. Fantastic. Next, also joining us on today's conversation is a biochemist by learning, a pastor by calling, a gender advocate and social development worker and humanitarian by passion. She is the director of program Echo Nigeria International, an Abuja-based NGO that showcases the potential of Nigerian to the global world and promotes development and transformation in all sector of governance. Deborah Life Allegrami, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. So, Madam, I'm going to start with you on today's show. We are men. We, we definitely don't need any day for celebration. Why do we need such petty things as recognition, World Men's Day? We, we, we don't need that. We, we're strong. We, we can handle <laughs> ourselves. I believe that the men, the men need to be celebrated. Okay. They need to be honored. They need to be appreciated for the positive contribution mm -hmm. they make to the family, to the society. Mm -hmm in uh, bringing about uh, a peaceful a, a, a peaceful coexistence you know uh, uh, the men are strong they, they are men they, when we when you talk about a man yes you, you talk about strength you talk about a, a leadership you okay. talk about headship and so i believe that uh, we celebrating women and celebrating the girls, celebrating children. It is very, very important for us to start celebrating the men, to thank, to, to appreciate them for all their positive contribution to the family and to the society. And that is why it is needed. Because with these, it will help to promote gender equality, okay. which is a, uh, the fifth goal of the SDG. Okay. Sir, <laughs> I'm going to be asking you the same question. Today is International Men's Day, and we're celebrating today men all over the world. And the Pacific theme for today's celebrations is helping men and boys. Um, I want to ask the question, why do men need help, and where do they need this help? Thanks, Reward. Men need help. And uh, I, I think this theme is particularly uh, good for us okay. in, in, in Nigeria and in Africa. Because, for example, uh, the man is the breadwinner of the family, mm -hmm. is the one that pays the children's school fees, is the one that makes sure that there's, there's a home, you know, a house to stay in. It takes a lot of burdens, you know, carries a lot of heavy loads on the shoulders. And in clients that are developed, for example, is the, the help that is he needed to be helped by a lot of people. Let's look at government first. Now, he, the, the government assists him in taking this, the burden of school fees off his shoulder. The kids in the primary school, they go to school free. The kids in the secondary school, they go to school free. That's in developed society. And then the kids in the university, the government puts, you know, a loan, student loan board there, such that if the, the father cannot pay the school fees in the second in the university, the, the, the kids just go to uh, get a loan, and then they start paying back when they finish working. Barack Obama finished paying back when he became president of America. Do men in Nigeria enjoy this? He has to he collect salary every month on a monthly basis, but he pays school fees for three months upfront. He does that three times in a year. Mm -hmm. He collects salary on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. He pays rent mm -hmm. up front. Mm -hmm. And all this puts a lot of burden on his shoulder and on his chest, on his mind. And when you see men misbehave at times, it's because they carry a lot of burden, pain, that they cannot express to anyone. Because they will tell him, oh, be a man, be strong. So when he gets home, he has to pretend to his wife that, look, I'm strong. He has to pretend to the children that, look, I'm strong. And by the way, he is maybe a leader in a church, leader in a mosque, leader in the community, and so on and so forth. And he carries all this burden, he's soaking it in. And that's why the life expectancy of men in Nigeria have been reduced to around 45, 47 years. You know, that's not good. So that's what is the life expectancy of women? Uh, that's about, uh, for Nigeria, that's close to 60. Deborah, that's quite unfair. Uh, what would you say? <laughs> um, so just picking up from what he talked about, the life expectancy for men in Nigeria is 40-something, 49. Well, it's a 60-something for women. Um, 
Now, using today's team, how can we use this team of helping men and boys to see how we can reduce that gap and ensure that the men and the women too, but the men first catch up uh, to be able to live that long. Life expectancy of 40-something, it's terribly low. Men's health is very, very important. Uh, you know, we, this, this, this day celebrating the men and the International Day of the uh, International Men's Day is also to raise awareness, to create awareness for men's health that men should, be, that they, should, should they should rise, they should take up, the, they should rise up to the challenge of, uh, uh, of, of seeking out help, seeking out help in the area of their health. Their mental health is crucial because uh, mm -hmm. men, they have uh, so much, they bottle so much. They bottle so much in the mind. It is time to, to, to release those things, to share their, to, to share their emotions, to, 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 to cry out. You know, men think, oh, I'm too strong. There's no need for a man to cry. There are issues. You need to speak out. You need to share with somebody. You need to share with somebody and uh, bring uh, uh, th those toxins because most of this thing, bottled anger, bottled aggression, bottled offenses in, the, in, in men, uh, like the economic situation of Nigeria right now is not very okay. And so in, in the house, uh, uh, there have been issues of violence due to women asking for what is not there. And then uh, this makes the men angry. It's stir up aggression. And for that reason, they have heart attack. They have heart problem. So it, the, the, the celebration of the men's day is also to raise awareness on the men's health and their wellness. Uh, men need to check up themselves, uh, check their health, and make sure that they offload the burdens in their hearts. So you're saying mind. essentially that um, following with this year's thing, which is uh, helping men and boys, that the men need to spend a little more time, a little more, give a little more attention to their mental health. Yes. Very important. All right. Uh, Mr. Shaw, I'm going to ask you the same question. I'm going to push it in this particular direction. It's a very interesting world we find ourselves these days. Uh, 30, 40 years ago, it was very clean cut. The men went out, they made the money, they paid the rent, they did everything. They were the professionals, the people, working class people. But it's a completely different world today. How are we preparing our young men and some of the old, even already mature ones mm -hmm. to deal with the, the changing status of things? You have women who earn some, some even earn, earn more, more than their husband by significant amounts. They are more influential, more known in the society. They are pursuing notable careers, traveling around the world. How are we preparing a man or how do we prepare the men to begin to deal comfortably with such shifting times? Thanks, Reward. You know, the dealing start from home. Okay. I, I think the training for the, uh, for the girl child and for the boy child at home is not in tandem. Okay. You know, because a, uh, the, the, the girl child re receives a lot of mentoring from the, from the mom. And the father also, you know, uh, puts in a word or two. And then the girl is, is, is being raised to be independent, to be able to stand alone, to multitask to do so many things mm -hmm. and be able to be on top of situation. Mm -hmm. Whereas the male child is just uh, they are playing ball, playing games. Grow, you know, graduate, you know, get so a job yeah, and you are so good to go. In Africa we tell them, look, there are some things that boys don't do. So I think we need to focus you know, on raising a total male child in, in, in the house going forward now. For example, in my house, uh, I make sure that my male children and the, male ch and the female children do the same as old, old chores, they are divided because I will not train only the girl and refuse to train the boy. And then the boy that you do not train, so uh, Madame trains a girl, you train your girl, mm -hmm. he trains uh, his girl, we don't train our boys. And the boys who do not train, we marry the girls that we have trained. So that's where you see there's always tension in there. So we need to focus more uh, efforts on training the boy child to become a total man. Mm -hmm. In my house, I tell my son, I said, on Sunday, the girls are off. They are off duty. We come back from church, we enter the kitchen, we fix them nice lunch. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes. So I was shocked one day. I came back to that. I want to study. I, I want to uh, add home economics to my to my subject oh, wow. because what we are doing on Sunday impacted on him. Now, if he's frying something in the house, you think <laughs> you think a lady is the one in charge of the kitchen, and so on and so forth. So I, I appeal to parents. You know, if God gives you a girl and a boy, they are they are the, they are the same. Like as a man. I make sure that I'm the one that wash, 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 uh, I wash all the plates in the house on Sunday. I tell them, sit down, let me do it. They said, Daddy, no, you should do it. I said, no, 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 no. I just want you to know that in my house, we respect girls and boys equally. Fantastic. And we're going to, you know, 
Okay, I'm going to come back to you on that, but I'm going to come back to Madame Deborah. Um, what are some of the, being a woman, like he said, um, the women seem to be on the receiving end of um, ill-mentored or non-mentored men. Uh, the women suffer that a lot. They carry that load plus the unload of being, you know, a woman, the burden of being a woman as well. I'm going to ask, what are some of the things you've noticed as you've, you know, mentored both the men and the women as you've done uh, gender advocacy, some of the toxic um, traditional perspective that men are given that cause a lot of problems? Yes, men, they are not patient enough with the women. They are not patient enough. They, uh, there's lack of under good understanding of the woman, you know, lack of love. Uh -huh. Aha. Lack of love in the sense that, you know, a woman wants that love to be expressed. Not just, oh, I love you, yes, yes. I, she knows I love her, but you have to express it. Intolerance, in having patience. You know, men, women talk a lot, yes. They, they, they are extroverts, you know. They just say everything. I wonder, uh, I, I, sometimes um, I'm amazed. Even the women, when they're telling you their dreams, their dreams seem to be longer. We both slept for the same amount of time. And how come your dream is longer than mine? <laughs> I believe that's how God, that, that's how God make of the woman. That is, it is inbuilt in her because she has so much to do. The woman has so much to do. She's a mother of nation. She surrounds the man. She bets that she, she surrounds the children. She, 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 she's, she's a help that is meet for all. A help that is meet for all. Both for the man, both for the children, both for the in-laws and the society at large. So uh, women, uh, men, they, they need to tolerate the women. They need to be patient with their women. They need to love, express the love. Don't just say, yes, I love her. Let it be expressed all right. in words, in actions, sure. in all that you do. All right, Mr. Shaw, I'm going to ask this question. I think this is where the huge, the major, the heart of the problem. Mm -hmm. What is the portrait of a real mature man for the time that we live? What is the portrait? Because before now, a portrait of a man is a strong violence man, mm -hmm. is a strong provider. But what is the actual portrait of a man? Yeah, for me, the actual portrait of a, of a man, of a real man, is, is one, connectivity to your maker. Okay. One, you must be connected to your maker. The man that did not fall from planet uh, uh, Pluto. He was sent to this world by God to fulfill a purpose. So one day is a disconnect, because the man himself needs mentoring. Mentoring that is not only physical, but also spiritual. spiritual. So when you are connected to God, you are able to receive that mentoring. That's number one. Number two, uh, uh, understanding, understanding a, a, a man that is a real man have to understand that, look, there's a difference between the male gender and the female gender. And then we, we collaborate. And that's why the Bible calls it help meet. You are supposed to, you know, uh, the woman is supposed to help you, you are also to help the man. Number three, vision. You know, a, 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 a man that's a real man must have vision. Mm -hmm. Because you are, you are going to be the, the husband of your wife, the father of your children. Where are you leading these people to? So there must be a vision for your life, what you are to do, where you are good. Then number two, number, number four, diligence. diligence. You have to be very diligent to be dedicated because if you have a vision and you are not committed to what's, you know, bringing that vision to life, it will never come to life. All right. And then, and then one more because we're almost out of time. Maturity. Maturity. Yeah, Connectivity mature. to your maker, your maker. Diligence, diligence to your purpose, your purpose. and maturity. maturity Madam, in rounding up, let's a uh, vision yes vision and maturity madam let's round up with you your portrait of being a woman and from all the women you've mentored if the women were to speak and you're speaking for them today what would you say was a woman's vision of a man the woman's vision of a man i want to tell the woman you know the the, the, the a, a woman uh wants a man that is out that, that is all out there for her and for the family that gives attention to the home to the family and is ready to help, ready to help at all times. Uh, you know, most times men, they are not patient enough to listen to the woman. They believe she talks too much, she talks too much. No, just listen to her. A woman wants to be feel, want to be loved. When she felt love, she's going to submit to you. She's going to respect you because that's what men demand. They want respect. And I want to tell every woman out there that this is very, very important in the life of a man, respect. So let's give them the respect that is due to them. They are the head, they are the leader. Let's give them the respect that is due to them. And when we have good, when we have understanding with them, it is both ways. 
on, on, on each side. A woman having good understanding with the husband, uh, 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 the man too having good understanding with the wife. With this, the domestic violence will be eradicated. Thank you very much. And then it's if I good. can say something quickly, <laughs> reward, the, the man must be present. I think that's the that, that's very important. So all, all of our all of our spouses present will... as a father, present as a husband, the present has to be there. That's when you see things that are going wrong, and you can quickly correct them. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having a very rather balanced discussion mm -hmm. from both perspective of a man and perspective of a woman on the kind of help uh, that a man needs and the portrait of who a man is supposed to be for his family so that he can influence the society at large. Remember that the biggest and the largest and the most effective source of societal change is the family. And if we get that right, we will get everything right. Mm -hmm.